Fred Ursham was a student in four of my courses. Back in 2006, when he started at Duke, we had so few comp sci students, we were recruiting them. I started a program called Duke Emerging Scholars and recruited Fred to this program. Fred took the first two computer science courses his first year. At the same time, as part of the Duke Emerging Scholars program, he also took a year-long seminar course on problem solving with the other students I recruited and hoped would all become comp sci majors. Here is the Duke Emerging Scholars class that year. And there is Fred. Fred did become a comp sci major and has gone on to be very successful. Fred Ursham is a co-founder and managing partner at Paradigm. Previously, Fred co-founded Coinbase, the largest cryptocurrency company in the US and held the role of president from 2012 to 2017. Fred purchased his first Bitcoin in 2011 and has been an angel investor in some of the space's most formative companies. Fred holds a Bachelor of Science in Computer Science and Economics with honors and departmental distinction from Duke University, class of 2010. Class of 2021, it's Fred Ursum. Congrats, you made it. Come a long way since your first recursive algorithm or your first supply demand curve. I was sitting in exactly your shoes 10 years ago. So when you all asked me to come say something at your graduation, my first thought was, hmm, I'm kind of skeptical of advice in general. But okay, we'll do this. And, you know, I started to ask myself, what would I want to know when I was sitting in your shoes 10 years ago? The biggest thing that came to my mind is follow your curiosity. That's been the biggest through line in my life and in the lives of all of the graduates my year who I think have gone on to do the most interesting things. Now, why follow your curiosity? Well, to give you a little bit of background on my life story, when I was in your shoes, my job didn't even exist. Uh, Bitcoin didn't even exist when I was an undergrad at Duke. You're gonna go into the world and there are gonna be a lot of people who have very specific ideas about how the world works. They think it works a certain way, it's set in stone. Spoiler alert, that's not true at all. The world is highly malleable. It's being created and recreated every day by people who are no smarter than you and me. For those of you who go on to work at startups, you'll see this up close and personal, often comically. Asking questions is more important than answers, oftentimes. I have a theory that the smartest people in every single field are philosophers. They're just applied philosophers through whatever their craft is. They're asking questions and trying to answer it every single day, whether it's through writing a song, writing a new recursive algorithm, uh, dissecting a financial market, it doesn't matter. If you do decide to follow your curiosity, you might find yourself in strange and unexpected places. This started for me before I even matriculated at Duke. I spent 4,000 hours in World of Warcraft. My mom, needless to say, was not very happy about this. But I did learn about digital worlds and digital currencies, and that came to become very important for me later on. And I had no idea as it, as it was happening at the time. I was just curious. The same was true when I was at Goldman after school, trading foreign currencies during the European debt crisis, sitting there thinking, what, what is money and how does this work? Uh, very basic, perhaps in today's parlance, stupid questions. But again, those inquiries brought me to important places. So as you go out into the world, don't be afraid to look like an idiot or to look strange in a given moment because you're following your own path. Um, I was definitely not cool in undergrad, but the coolest I got was playing Halo 4v4 against the basketball players before they went out on a Friday night. 
And the future is yet to be written. Life is one big adventure. Never stop asking why. People will try to tell you that there are rules to how the world works. There are no rules. Um, and just have fun with it. I'll see you out there.